You are so greedy with the money. This could be something about an inheritance. Eight of Wands reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. This is a person you're blocking or not talking to right now or haven't responded back to yet. Sagittarius, Gemini. They're devastated. This person, I feel like, burned bridges or burned trust with you guys. You sever ties with this person, but they're trying to come back from this. But it just feels like it's something irretrievable. I just, you can't, I feel like this is somebody you're not trying to reconcile with. You're not, nothing like that. This dynamic has changed. It possibly will be changed forever. You already found out too much hidden information. You already figured out. This. You've seen too much already. You can't unsee that and go back and just rewind. This energy is trying to rewind. Like, rewind, rewind, rewind. L let me go back. Let me go back. They're wishing that they never did everything they did or said what they said. They feel like you've already uncovered them. They've already gotten caught. You've already wisened up. This person's too busy trying to fuck with your mental health. Okay, sabotage. They're trying to they're trying to sabotage you, Spirit says. They're too busy trying to sabotage. Wow. They're so greedy with the money. Mm-hmm. They could be feeling entitled with your money. Strength reverse. This could be a narcissist, somebody very egotistical, maybe narcissistic, selfish. This person's only in it for their own gain. They could definitely have a lack of compassion for you or others. It feels like they're trying to attain something with your money or whatever kind of money this is. Very inconsiderate. I just feel an entitled energy, selfish, entitled energy. They're feeling very insecure, having a lot of doubt. They're trying to get you to doubt yourself or have some kind of doubts about something. They want you stuck in some kind of loop. They want to keep something like an ongoing infinite loop. Whatever they need to do to stay tied to you and your money so they can keep being greedy. Leo. Mars and Scorpio. Yeah, there's a bridge back there. Bridges have been burned. This person's crying over what was lost. I feel like they're unappreciative. They didn't appreciate what they had or what you gave them. Could definitely be depressed. Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The hermit. This person like rushed in to communicate to you and couldn't get through to you. They hit a brick wall. They're like, I'm going to do this. And you're like, no, no, you're not. That's what the energy feels like. No, you're not. The hermit, Virgo. Yeah. Already enlightened, already aware. You already seen what this person was hiding or what was going on in the dark. Got this taught you some kind of wisdom. You left this person. This person's totally filling out in the coals. So greedy with the money. Yeah, they're too busy trying to trick you, manipulate you, or um, manipulate your mind or your um, consciousness. Something like that. This is a, These are narcissists. Queen of Wands reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah. This this could most likely be a karmic femme. Extremely, being extremely greedy. It could be very controlling, very bossy. This person's definitely entitled. This person could have started a lot of drama, a lot of chaos. Saturn in uh, 
Sagittarius. You're not concerned. You're not concerned and stressing over them. King of Cups. You got your back turned away. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person's a le legitimately stalking you. Page of Swords reversed. How is this Queen of Wands reverse looking at this person, this King of Cups or Knight of Swords? How are they looking at this person? How are they viewing this person? Whoever this is greedy with the money. They know that you are, um, they're looking at you like you're very intuitive. You can see below the surface or you're very in tune with what's going on. You're very confident, confident about something, some truth or something you said, spoke out about. You're confident about the truth. Cheerfulness reversed and love. I feel like they could have, some of y'all, they could have been um, gossiping about a love interest of yours. There's some kind of love in your life that this person, possibly other people, are not trying to celebrate. They don't, it's like they're not celebrating you. They're not truly loving you for, for you. That's the first energy. This is what this is. This person's just all about themselves. There's no true, genuine love for you. It doesn't feel like you're, this is why your heart is elsewhere. This person's pointed over here. Yeah, this karmic is just focused on themselves, selfish. Definitely, this is all narcissistic energy coming out. Strength reverse, Queen of Wands reverse, Magician reverse. You might as well block this person if you don't got them blocked already. Some of y'all, maybe you're not able to, could be somebody close. You have to keep in touch with co-parenting situations or something like that. Um, yeah, show me what else, Spirit. How is this person looking at this greedy person? They're trying to block a privileged lady or somebody privileged. They could be trying to compete with a lady or another woman. Somebody that's privileged. I feel like it's this King of Cups. Someone's looking at this person like you're trying to create blockages for somebody else to attain something, to attain some kind of power, status, or greed. Definitely trying to have control. They're trying to win at all costs. Let's turn this down. Trying to block or challenge a privileged lady. They're trying to compete. Yeah, they're trying to, once again, this psychotic person who's out of touch with the reality or your truth or your beliefs, whatever this is. Um, they're out of touch with your reality, though. Page of Swords. Possibly something you said or communicated. This could be somebody younger. They could be trying to compete with a younger energy. Possibly a, a younger um, man or woman. This person's obsessed with whoever you are involved with or in love with. You could be definitely watching somebody or communicating to somebody, talking to somebody, sending messages to somebody. You've got your eye on someone. Whoever this privileged lady energy is, they're trying to block that person and gaslight you. They want you. Yeah, she's psychotic. She's in the psychosis state. Um, Queen of Swords reverse, Knight of Swords. She knows the truth. You told her the truth, but yet she's trying to manipulate the truth. This person's in some very fierce, stiff competition with uh, another person or a privileged lady. It's like she wants to be the privileged, privileged lady. 
she's in really bad mental health. Four swords reverse could be very stressed out, burnt out, overworked, or something. Tower reverse, ace of swords, knight of wands. She's got to move somewhere or do something because uh, you're not giving her help and she's not stopping no privileged lady. She's not blocking nobody else. She's not blocking you. Nothing like that at all. Her ass is delusional. Knight of, uh, Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, she's obsessed and delusional. So this must be a karmic feminine energies or something. Some karmic energies. The truth hurts, but a lie is worse. Queen of Swords reverse trying to block out a privileged lady. She doesn't have much savings. Could be getting lots of calls from collection agencies. This person's credit could be very bad. Preservation. This person's being very ruthless. They don't have much savings or much money saved up. Don't have much saved for a rainy day. This person's possibly on their last dime or living paycheck to paycheck. She's trying to get someone else out of the picture so she can be a privileged lady or be a privileged lady again. Some kind of privileges. She's very uh, vain, very focused on uh, superficial things, her image, her status, very surface level. She, yeah, she wants you to collaborate with her, collaboration. She's looking for some kind of backup or a backup plan. She, yeah, she wants you to work, team up with her and get this other person out of your life. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but this person's very convinced that they're going to get you to, um, looks like cut somebody out of your life or something like that. Trying to, whatever that love is, she's trying to block out privileged lady love. She doesn't want to over this privileged person is this love interest to be celebrated. It's like they can't stand knowing this person is going to be celebrated by you and be happy or you guys are going to enjoy some kind of love together she could be doing dark magic um, or some kind of spell work this person's doing dark low vibrational stuff to try to mess with your consciousness they could have did this in the past um, but i feel like now you're consciously aware of it so it can't affect you if you're aware consciously of the dark magic which it looks like you are king of cups you look like you're very in tune with this or you're seeing something within your dreams about this. You're getting some kind of signs. You could be picking this up in your subconscious mind or something like that. Either way, you're conscious. That's why you're like, you're so greedy with the money. Knight of Swords. You could be getting ready to say something to somebody. Yeah, this person needs a reality check or a wake-up call. Seven of Wands reverse to keep thinking they're getting ready to take you down or take somebody else down or get this privileged lady out of the picture. They're seeing somebody enjoying some kind of success. Oh, I see what's going on. So they're trying to get an Empress energy out of your life or take her down, him or her down, or take you down. If you're the Empress, they're trying to take down. They're trying to block you either way. Um, they're just wasting their time. Four of Wands reverse. Yeah, their situation is hopeless. This could be somebody dealing with some kind of uh, domestic issues. Their home life is not really good. Yeah, they want you to not support um, or be involved with or be in union with someone else. So they're basically trying to make this person's life their life, basically, is what it seems like. Their situation is totally um, hopeless. They're very vengeful, holding on to some kind of grudge very very bitter energy there's some kind of regrets somebody regrets partnering up with this narcissist whoever this is that's needy and greedy someone's regretting teaming up with them or working with them or listening to them or letting them control them or boss them around or something like that Five of Cups, let's see, um, Five of Cups. Mm, this could be this uh, 
Yeah, it was something to do with the second house. This came out on top of this karmic second house moon and Taurus. They focus on second house matters. So money, whatever else. But that's what's the dominant energy. Money, greed. You don't truly love me. You just want my money. The next energy out is divine masculine sister. That could be someone's sister. This person's upset, sad over finances. They need it to stop. It's just the fact that you have to block someone else or try to take someone down, defeat somebody and stop somebody to get and attain the second house energy. That's, you're gonna lose every time. It's like real ruthless and shady. You're gonna lose out every single time. It's a good thing you're aware now that what this person's doing. They could have been uh, using you or taking advantage of you um, for a long time or many years. Okay, and um, eight of wands reverse. Something about pets. So, um, okay, how they're showing me this intuitively. Basically, this person is trying to communicate to you to distract you. You guys could literally have pets, but spirits let me know it's some kind of distraction. They try to distract you in the recent past. Someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. So she's trying to get in the middle of you and someone else or some kind of something with love. Yeah, your intuition has already told you this. This person's doing stuff and you're just seeing red flags, possibly in some kind of uh, communication or message. You could have ignored red flags with this person and maybe it came back to bite you. Either way, this situation is totally done with and you're trying to recover. 